1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Blake, as we stand here today before God in the presence of our closest friends and family, I reflect on the incredible man standing before me. You are so much more than I imagined my future husband could be. You pursue me fiercely. You love me unconditionally. You serve myself and both my right of others with your whole heart. You give of yourself entirely. I believe that as we stand here, God is among us. God is on our side today. God is on our side today and every day hereafter. Like I vow to serve you, not only when it is convenient for me, but I promise to give of myself to you wholeheartedly, entirely. I stand before you as an imperfect man, but through God's grace and mercy, I vow to never stop growing through Christ to become the man that you deserve and the man that God has called me to be for you. I vow never to take a second with you for granted. I vow to grow with you and believe in you. I vow to be faithful to you in heart, body, mind, and soul. I vow to laugh with you during good times and to lift you up during bad times. From this day forward, you will never face the joys and the trials of life alone. I bow these things before you and God for today and for forever. It was my ear was so glad. <laughs> it was really good. I just want to thank all of you guys for coming out today. Wasn't it a beautiful wedding? Literally, it was the smoothest wedding I've ever been a part of, seriously. My mom was saying how sad she was that we aren't going to break out into spontaneous trios around the house anymore, but I kind of retorted back that now we'll break out into a quartet. So it's really like, it's really just adding to it, right? Yeah. But I just want to say thank you so much for being there for me, like my whole life, being my best friend in the whole world. Um, and listening to me rant and vent and all that. And I'm really going to miss you around the house, but I know that I'm going to be invading your apartment like all the time. So I'll get used to it. <laughs> Mr. Blake, affectionate, athletic, musical, bold, hungry respectful, intuitive leader. You are the child of first. You allowed us to have our first baby dedication. You allowed me to have the experience of a first diaper blowout up the back. You allowed me to be celebrated on Father's Day and Heather on Mother's Day. First to school, first child to be baptized, first child to be filled with the Holy Ghost. First with a driver's license, first with a speeding ticket, first to college, now our first wedding. Teresa and I were getting ready for midweek Bible study when we heard the crash and then her cry. When we reached our bedroom, there lay our little Nicole, just three and a half years old, under a four foot tall bookcase. Thankfully, she only suffered a little gash in her hairline, but four stitches later, she was up and running. All of that happened because Nicole was reaching for the top shelf. For the last 22 years, Teresa and I have watched Nicole reach beyond ordinary expectations set by others, not choosing an easier path, but again, with God's grace, she has always been reaching for the top shelf. You may kiss.
Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things.